Alright folks, I'm going to try to do a time-lapse video of cutting a hand-cut wooden jigsaw puzzle today. I've got the image bonded onto the wood. You can see this is all the pre-planning. These are the various figures that I'll be cutting into the puzzle. I stick these images down to give me something to work around. These are called finger cuts. They're not to protect my finger from the blade because scroll saw blades really don't want to cut your flesh there to protect the puzzle from my fingers. They give me much more grip on the image so I don't tear up the edges as much while I'm working. And I'm going to try to see if I can add some music or some commentary to the time lapse but I make no promises so I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. The first thing I'll do is I'll cut the puzzle into sections to make it easier to work on. Then I'll take each section one at a time and I'll cut it into pieces. As I cut each piece I'll be bringing it back over here to join the rest of the puzzle. And then when I'm done, I'll shoot another video to show you the completed puzzle all cut and front and back. And for now, I'm going to shut this down and get the time lapse set up and get started cutting. And here is the completed puzzle, all nice and cut. I'm going to go down and run across so you can see it a little better. Now, if you look carefully, you should be able to pick out those figures that you saw marked out before I started cutting, and that you may have been able to pick out as I was cutting. There, that KC shows really well from here, so I know you can see it too. And the ballet dancer. There's the conductor. Now down here, where we have the dog walker and her dog. If I do this, then you can see there where the leash is cut in as a cut. Next, I'll flip it over and show you the back. And here's the back of the puzzle. I've spread it out a little bit so you can see the cuts better. Let me come in a little closer. Zoom around so you can see how everything looks. And you can see there on my signature frog, I put my maker's mark and the date that I completed the puzzle. As you can see, the figures are easier to see here from the back. Now, the guys who laser cut, their pieces are all edged in black from their burns, so their figures stand out better. If you really want to see mine better, of course, you could take a pencil and blacken the edges, but I don't do that. This section is showing the puzzle with all of the figures pulled out. I'm going to go down and zoom in on them a bit for you. And now across the puzzle so you can see where they live. And hiding down in this corner is a little bit of what I call line heart. 
or I cut into the puzzle, but it's not a piece that comes out. If you look closely, and I make sure that I'm actually lined up on it here, got to find it back. If you look right there by my finger, you'll see a copy of my artist mark that's cut into the puzzle. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this look into how a hand cut wooden puzzle is actually cut. Now I have to take all these bits, get them edited together, and try to make something coherent that's good enough to show you. Enjoy, and don't forget, scroll-right.com, or on Etsy, just look for the shop, scroll right with no dash. Enjoy!